Hello Silver Friends, this is Jolie from Quick Silver Hair and today I want to talk about something that we don't talk about very often in the silver hair community and that is what do you do if you ditch the dye, grow out your silver and then you decide I gotta color this, I gotta dye my hair again. Um, let's talk about it. I think it's an important part of this journey and I think it's an important aspect of how we support others in this community. I first joined a silver hair group in 2015 when I ditched the dye. At that time that group was about 900 people. I am now one of the co-admin of that group and it sits at about 11,000 people. There is another group that I am very active in on Facebook that has upwards of 25,000 people I think at this point. This isn't a topic that comes up frequently but it does come up. What I see is the reaction from some people who think that once you ditch the dye, that's it. You are a silver hair person for the rest of your days. I don't really think that's fair because we ditch the dye for a myriad of reasons and we dye our hair for a myriad of reasons. I think that there are some really valid reasons why women choose to go back to dyeing their hair. Um, one is job loss and needing to get another job. There is job insecurity is a big issue. And if you feel like your chances of getting the job are better if you dye your hair, then by all means, you know, that should be something you consider. Um, I do feel, and I wanna say this for you, if you do have this issue where you're looking for a job and you feel like your hair color might be an issue, I would say go on a few interviews first with your silver hair and see how that response goes. Don't automatically think that people are going to judge you for your hair color in a job opportunity situation because during 2020, many people stopped dyeing their hair. So it has become way more common than you think. And it is even more common in the you know CEO level positions of women to have stopped dyeing their hair. So I wouldn't um, put that cart before that horse too soon. The next reason that a lot of people start dyeing their hair again is that they quit for things like chemotherapy and cancer treatment and now may be in remission or have been cured of their cancer and no longer have that issue. So it's like, you know, now I wanna go back to dyeing my hair. So by all means do that. You may not have embraced your silver hair because it, of your hair that you wanted to do that so I can see why that would be something that you know would draw you to going back to dyeing your hair um, if you stopped dyeing your hair for allergy reasons or hair loss e reasons I would encourage you to find another solution um, maybe it's not about the color of your hair that's bothering you it might be your hairstyle or your haircut and maybe it's time to freshen that up a little bit Another thing that could help is freshening up the colors you're wearing in your makeup or your clothing. Some of those things can help you feel better about it. And, you know, I see people wearing the wrong color and then their hair looks really bad. It looks really dingy and they harp on their hair, but it's really the color of clothing or the color of their surroundings. I mean, you know, maybe a fresh coat of paint will help. My office was a fleshy tone and it had a little bit of a warm yellow tone to it and I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand to be in my own office because my hair looked yellow so I painted my walls so that it was a little bit more flattering um, just from this aspect of sitting here on YouTube and I can tell you that changing the color of the walls in my office helped all the way around because even if I only changed one wall and the other three walls had been that color, it would still influence the color of my hair. As a matter of fact, there are times that I post video and someone will comment on that my hair is not that um, beautiful white and I'm talking about yellowing and most of the time it is the lighting. So consider where you're looking at your hair if you feel like it looks dingy or yellow that maybe it's not your hair, it could be your surroundings. Another issue I think that people face with going ahead and dyeing their hair is having permanent damage from heat or UV where their beautiful whites suddenly turn yellow and they just can't stand it and so they choose to dye. 
I also have seen there was in particular a couple of YouTubers that this happened to where they used a temporary color like overtone and it stained their hair in a way that they could not get that staining out and they did not like the color that it was stained and did not want to grow that out so they chose to dye their hair again in order to stop that issue. Another issue I see is people do gray blending and it completely fries the lower ends of their hair or it turns a really funky color after the toner comes off so they choose to dye their hair again a darker color and grow out their silvers with that darker color on their base. You know, all of these reasons are very valid. Another reason that I saw was a woman exploring a very simple life. She's a, a a YouTuber that I follow and I'll link everything below so you can kind of check out these people that I'm talking about if you want because they have told their stories on YouTube um, but she follows a very simplistic life and she follows a minimalism lifestyle and when she started that lifestyle she chose to stop dyeing her hair as part of that process really to get to know herself and I just listened to her video recently and it was really fascinating to me how insightful her reasoning was for going back to dyeing her hair. And that was, it was just something she wanted to do um, to feel better about the color of her hair. Her color was a darker color and as you know, the, the length got longer, it was changing color and getting coppery. So she had like two or three different colors going on and she just didn't like the way that looked. So for her, she wants to be able to play with colors that make her feel better about herself. Totally valid reason, right? Then there is the group of people that love to play with temporary colors and ditched dye, permanent dyes, for that reason. And I will tell you, when I ditched the dye, I was actually thinking about this. I wanted to try out like rose gold and teal and some of these temporary colors to have fun with but I didn't want to bleach my hair to use those colors so you know I thought hey if I grow out my silver and I can use those colors on it that'll be a lot of fun I will tell you I'm a chicken and I haven't done it <laughs> but I also love the way my hair turned out so I have not really wanted to mess with it too much I did dye it with temporary lavender dye at one point which only lasted a couple of days I did it with manic panic and it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed that process. But honestly, I think there are so many reasons we wear our hair the way we wear our hair. And the main one is self-identity and how we want to present ourselves to the world. And I cannot ever fault a woman for needing to present herself to the world the way she feels is right for her. And I think that if someone posts in especially these groups or whatever that they've dyed their hair, the best we can offer them is our kindest and most loving support because we don't know what they're going through. We don't know why they felt the need to do this. Maybe they have a spouse that's giving them a hard time. Maybe they have a job that it's, you know, becoming a problem at work. You just never know. And that's why I wanted to make this video today. I just wanted to share with you that if you go through this entire process and at the end of it you hate it, you know exactly what to do. Go get your favorite box of dye, go to the salon, get your favorite stylist to color your hair again, and no harm, no foul. At least you know what's underneath that dye now and you know what it looks like. And I know that for some people that was another reason that they ditched the dye. They just wanted to see what was being covered up. and. You know you've seen it and maybe you don't like it and maybe it's not for you and that's totally okay it's not for everybody and I don't think that ditching the dye is an all-or-nothing process I don't think any of us should have to be committed to any one thing for life just because we decided one day that's what we were gonna do that day I mean I'm kind of all in at this point because I've built a business around silver hair and I probably never will dye my hair again simply because one of my issues was hair loss and irritated scalp. So I don't miss that at all. <laughs> and I really do love my silver hair. And after watching my parents go through their graying process, it's only gonna get better from here. It's gonna get whiter and even prettier. And I'm thrilled to see what that's gonna look like in the future. So I'm all in from that standpoint. But you know, I might still talk myself into doing a temporary color here or there. Anyway, 
I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found it supportive if you're struggling with this issue of whether or not you can dye your hair again or not. The simple answer is you do you and you do what's best for you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so now so that I can see you next time. Until then, shine on.